in this section I'm going to look at how you can format the chart data labels. Now these are the data labels here, so you've got sort of 218 and 219. So if I click on 219 to select it, then right click and click where it says Format Data Labels. This pane here opens up and there's various things you can change. So for instance, at the moment it says Series Name, so you can take that off or put it on. If you want other things, for instance, you could have Category Name on or off. You could specify the value, the exact value here. So as you can see, if you look at these values here, it's 12, 28, 31, and uh, 28, which are taken from here. So you can take that off. Or you can put it back to where it was originally, which is the series name, which is 2019. So there's various things you can change like that. Um, if you want to, you can experiment with changing the number format and everything else. We won't bother in this case. You'll notice there's, there's different tabs here. So for instance, you've got this tab here, which is the Fill tab. Over here, you've got the Effects tab. Over here, you've got the Size and Properties tab. And then finally, you've got the Label Options tab, like so. So in this case, I'm going to click on the Size and Properties. And there's various things you can change. Probably the most common one is this one that says Text Direction. So at the moment, as you can see, this is horizontal. If I click on the down arrow here, there's various things you can do. So for instance, you can rotate all text by 90 degrees. So it'll look like that. Or you could have it uh, rotated by uh, 270 degrees, in which case it'd look like that. So in this case, I'll go and change it back to 90 degrees. So it looks like that. At the moment, we've just done it for one, so it would make more sense really to do this for both. So if I clicked on the other label here, and if I rotated those also by 90 degrees, it just gives it a more sort of balanced look. There's various other things you could do. So for instance, if you wanted to stand out a bit more, you could go here, and instead of no fill, you could have maybe a solid fill. And from here, you could pick the color. So we'll go for, I don't know, this orange color maybe. So again, it's just another way of getting things to stand out if you want them. Something else you can do, if you go and click on the Label Options tab here, you can change the position of the label. So for instance, let's say you wanted it centered, you could do something like that, so it's centered with inside now. In the same way I could do this for the other one, so if I go here, and if I go and center that one, and then I click outside it, you can see basically you've got lots and lots of different options. So I'd encourage you to basically go and check out these various options, just go and experiment and you know, see what you can achieve.